Not too long ago, I was contacted by Delta Team Tactical, and they asked if I would be interested in reviewing their Davidson Defense the Journeyman Rifle. Now, yeah, I wasn't familiar with them, and it sounded like they were kind of a newer company uh, looking for some honest reviews and exposure. Yeah, I was really impressed with their communication and, and the request and how the request came in. I mean, they flat out asked for a completely honest and straight up review as is of the journeyman. They didn't ask to proof or see the review prior to posting, nothing like that. They just said, hey, you know, we've seen some of your videos. We like uh, it is what it is. Give us an honest review. Yeah, I mean, I have to laugh. Uh, how can I say no to that? So here you go. Here's an honest review, no BS, uh, review of the journeyman rifle in 5.56. Five, that is 10 shots. There we got it. Nice! <laughs> That's four for four red dot. I love it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, so the rifle showed up in a nice unmarked soft case with a mag pull, Gen 230 round mag. Now, the first impression, you know, when I pick it up, you know, it feels nice. It looks nice. Um, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech, and then try her out with the iron sights that she came with and go from there. Okay, just real quick, I want to show you the trigger that came with it. It's actually pretty crisp, pretty clean. Not a lot of creep, mush, travel. The reset. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad for a stock trigger. Let's see what we got for pounds. Coming in at six. Depending on how we pull five. Five. Okay, just quick note here on working with the iron sights. Um, there doesn't really seem to be, doesn't tell you right or left. I was assuming the others that I have, we turn clockwise for right, but it, it doesn't seem to be equating downrange. And then the front side post does have up and down. Now, I'll show you what I was getting down there for groups. It was shooting way high, so of course the arrow up, and that's what I'm used to. If I need to go up with my groups, then I go where it says up. Well, I went, I turned it up, or sorry, I had been turning it down, and I turned it way down, but as I turn down, it goes up. If I turn up, it goes down. Now, right now, I have it maxed all the way out. I have it up as far as it will go, and down uh, is still about, you know, a foot above the target. So, we're not having the best of luck with this. Um, I did try switching from this one, you know, the zero to 200, which I really liked, you know, it's, it's kind of a shame because they look great. 
I switched to this one. It did bring it down a little bit. Let's just go take a look at the groups and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so, you know, I had the initial group up here. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> There's one. Okay, so as I was dialing it to the down and dialed it all the way down, it, it brought it up here and even put a couple up here so it's complete opposite so if if i want to bring my groups down then i need to turn it in the direction of up um turning it clockwise did seem uh now that i can see these here it did seem to be bringing it right but it does seem that i've got it maxed out in the uh up and that's as far down as it's bringing. Okay, so when I was using with the iron sights, the pop-ups that came with it, I did run into a few issues. So I tossed on some that I needed to review from Mepro. Um, check this out and see what you think. There we got it. <laughs> Some folks do like to know about the ejection pattern. It's not ever been, I guess, really top of my list, but I was going to show you it's kicking them back and to the right and has a really nice. Uh, pattern back here pretty much all my brass is piled up in, in, in pretty tight proximity for those that are interested in such things Just a quick note I do love this grip but this thing keeps coming out um, and that's kind of a problem but the grip itself is awesome I, I, I love that just got to figure out how to get this to stay in We're just firing off here at some distance and I felt this this guy it popped out again. Um, I think this is like the fourth time I've, I've put it in. I think for right now, I'm just gonna pull it out. And actually, it's no big deal to pull that out. Um, it just goes in there and, you know, most of, your, most of your grips are open bottom anyway. So that really doesn't bother me whatsoever. Like I said, the grip is incredibly comfortable if they're wanting to have a plug, though, um, I think they need to go back and, and do a little redesign. I have seen some that will have a screw in here, and you turn it, and then it just applies a little bit pressure to the sides. But anyway, just kind of keeping you appraised of uh, what's going on with this. Okay, so next, I had a red dot I had recently reviewed, and I just wanted to see what I could do with it for fun. It just it was screaming out to put on this rifle, and this rifle was just screaming out to have a red dot so, you know, who was I to stand in the way? I put the two together, check out what the two of these guys were able to do. Okay, so now I got the Rad Max 4 Pro on here. Um, I just, I love the field of view on this. And I, I've got it up on the skeleton uh, riser mount. I really enjoyed this optic and I just, I, I had to put it on this gun. Uh, hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend at the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on amazon you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to amazon through my link anything and everything you purchase by doing so help support the channel you can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews
Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. <laughs> nice that's awesome red dot you know what we got to try 400 I'll, I'll put a couple more in okay we're gonna go four for four i got four rounds at 400 yards let's see if we can do it oh the wind's a little crosswind let's give her a go Nice! <laughs> That's four for four red dot. I love it. So the barrel should be seasoned pretty good. Um, good enough to put a proper scope on and see what we can get for accuracy. Let's try some different loads and see what she's capable of for accuracy. Okay, so to see what we can get for accuracy, I've got a ride on uh, the Conqueror 5, the 5 to 25 by 50. Um, doing a review on this and you know as far as optics go it's pretty high end we're gonna see what kind of groups we can get with this um, using some different ammo over okay, here Okay, so this is our lineup on the target this is going to be the four on the bottom I started here with the AAC and we're just gonna work our way across and then down on the bottom I was actually getting just a little bit worried here about the groups I was getting, wondering, um, you know, maybe it's just not capable of getting really tight groups, but special thanks to Federal for providing enough ammo. I did uh, a cleaning and a polishing, and I did use a lower here that has a trigger tech match trigger in it just to make sure um, that we were eliminating any kind of trigger thing. Let's go check out these groups. Okay, I got some different stuff up here. Um, started off zeroing here. Um, you yeah, know, and then you just look at, at the groups. That's actually a pretty decent group. I was really happy with that. Um, that's where I moved over from here with the AAC. Okay, we spread out there. Yeah, oh, that's okay, not really. That's a lot better. That was tight, okay? I was really happy that I had the Federal. I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, not really that great. Yeah, not too bad there, okay? Yeah, a little bit bigger. Anyway, with the Federal here, I got that. I wanted to just double check and see with a match grade trigger if I could shrink that down, um, and I did. There's 10 rounds. Okay, you get rid of those two flyers, and that's solid, guys. Um, that says, to me, that says a lot. You, you decide what you think. That's five shots after the torture test and putting it back on. Special thanks to Federal. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think for yourself. Don't take my opinion. You decide for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support my channel be sure and hit the sub button. Hit that sub button. This really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're out on the range, every time we're working with firearms, we are ambassadors for the Second Amendment for everybody else. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.